Good morning, and welcome to Morning Mario here on Steven Plays. Today, we have got a Super Mario 3D World themed level called Bullet Bill Mask Sky Acrobatics, created by Dude2332. I believe you can fly. I believe you won't touch the spikes. World record of 52 seconds and a clear rate of only 5.71%. Cool. Cool. Sorry, I'm just doing the good burn for good luck. Bullet Bill's uh, mask guy acrobatic shirt. Let's, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't touch spikes. Easy peasy, 5%. No problem. What is it? This is something new. How's it work? If you walk to the left, it plays that music. How do you activate this? Okay, so you just hold jump again. Just need... Is it last forever? No, it putters out, okay. And you also cannot change directions or go up and down. But, if you let go of the fuel... Okay, all right. Sorry, I've never seen this before. This is the first time I've used this. All right, let's do it. Was I supposed to take damage? We'll presume yes. So far, so good. I mean, this is this is new and interesting. Oh God, no! Might still be able to. Mm, I probably should have. I touched, like, the very tip of that spike, and I'm mad about it. All right, let's try this again. I need to, like, let go. There we go. All right. This is really cool. Like, all of these things on their own, just as, as an individual power-up, changes the game, man. And I like that. Oh, no, no, no. Woo! There's some, like, you gotta let go of the gas soon. Like, sooner than you would think, because you kind of drift a little bit as you're turning. So let's keep that in mind. I just wondering if I could get up there or not. Oh no. Am I dead? Oh, I'm so dead! Dang it! I don't think there's any way to activate that, is there? No, no! Oh, I had done so well. Well, take me home, Spikey. Attempt number two will be much better. Got it. It's different. It's real different. The turning around is the hard part. Stopping before you come to, in, like, get into a wall also. All right, okay. Oh! God! What? What? Do they, I don't, I don't understand. Do they want me to break the thing? Oh. Oh, I see. I understand. Got it. Neat. So, if you if you are accelerating when you touch a wall, you lose the costume. And it will also activate the block. If you let go of the gas before you touch the wall, you won't blow up your costume and you'll instead stick to the wall preparing for a wall jump. There is so much potential with that. I mean, honestly, for some really, truly difficult levels, too. I'm pretty stoked about that power-up. That is a really cool power-up. Dang. Uh, cool. Uh, so, first things first, it's Friday. You made it to the end of the week. Uh, like I said before, uh, last week... Uh, we're still playing Mario RPG over on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash George, 8 p.m. Eastern. 
if you care to join us there. Otherwise, this weekend, I hope that you consider uh, making and playing Mario levels on uh, MorningMario.com, especially if we can play more things like this, because this was cool. And then also, it's Friday, so you get the question. I'm going to ask you a fun question that um, <laughs> you all probably already know my answer, and I'm really curious to find out yours, partially so I don't feel as bad. I want to know what your greatest screw up in the kitchen was what is the thing that you did in the kitchen once where you were like oh no i have made a bad tell me about it in the comments um mine are probably pretty obvious the one that i get poked about a lot even even today years and years and years later uh is the fact that i put buttered bread into the toaster you're supposed to do that after and uh, I've explained it before. Um, I just, I did not use a toaster growing up. The reason I buttered the bread when we finally got a toaster is that in college, I had made uh, garlic bread with a, um, like, st what, what do you call it? A counter toaster. What are those things called? The words elude me. I don't know. The one, the little tiny, uh, the little tiny ovens that are on your counter that have the little door the name literally escapes me dan will help me out um anyway but we we put the bread like we buttered the bread prior because it was sitting flat and like i had never used a toaster so when we finally got a toaster when we got married it just didn't trigger in my brain to not do that so is it still bad it's still pretty bad but that being said at least there's some level of explanation behind it and I, some of people are like wait did you not have not not use a toaster growing up uh, no no, I, I, I didn't. In fact, I remember microwaving... I remember microwaving Pop-Tarts. And if we had a toast, I don't know if we had a toaster. Certainly we had a toaster. I don't know. I never used it. <laughs> I eat bread now. I didn't eat bread then. The other big kitchen screw-up I've had is that I put a uh, metal mug in the microwave. But I don't know. I don't, I don't take too much credit for that. The butter, buttering the bread in the toaster thing, sure. But microwaving the, the mug in the in the microwave, like, I was basically asleep when that happened. I had just woken up. You should have been there, though. Because that thing was on fire. Mal did not appreciate that. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, tonight, 8 p.m., Mario RPG. Otherwise, I'll see you on Monday for more Morning Mario.